Welcome to Salon Scheduler Step 2. We're going to set up the scheduler. Uh, we're assuming that you've done Step 2, you've completed that, which would involve setting up all of your inventory in the Clover, which would be everything you sell, your services as well as your products. You want to make sure they're organized and into categories and they're available from your Clover inventory app. And then you've also got all of your employees added to the system. Uh, that's anybody who's going to schedule or anybody who's even not going to schedule. Just everyone's in your, in your employees app. So this step two is actually going to be where you set up your scheduler. The scheduler looks like a scissor icon like I'm showing you right here. If you don't see it on your Clover device, make sure that you have actually, uh, you know, downloaded the scheduler from the Clover More Tools. And um, it runs on your Clover device and as well as on an iPhone and an iPad and Windows. We'll show you how to set up an iPhone, iPad and Windows later on. Right now, you want to go ahead and tap on the scheduler icon on your Clover device. When you do so, it's going to do some, it's going to ask you to choose an account and you want to choose your Clover account and choose OK. And you're just going to see a big blue screen. Don't worry about that. That's because you haven't done any setup yet. OK, what you want to do is tap on the three line menu in the top left corner and you want to tap the settings button. OK, you're going to see it says auditing data and you need to do that whenever you tap that settings button later on. If you ever make changes to your inventory, tapping that settings button will inform the scheduler of those changes. OK, you're going to see a menu like this. And what you want to do is tap on service settings. OK, and um, what you're going to see is a list of all of your Clover categories that you set up in step one. I'm going to go ahead and choose one of those categories that we created in step one. That was hair services. And when you tap on it, you're going to see all the items that you created in that um, in the inventory in that category. And they're all going to appear under this banner called non service or products. What it's saying is the Clover doesn't know that these items are services yet. OK, so what you want to do is you tap on one of the services. And when you tap on it, see, it's going to ask you, do you want to recognize this Clover as an inv this Clover inventory item as a service? And so you can do recognize as service. And then it's going to ask you all the details about that service. OK, you want to give it a service duration. That's how long it takes. Most services don't have a break or a finish, but if you do, you would give it the break time and the finish time. The display order is useful. If you give it like a one, the most common services you can you can give the, the lowest numbers to and they'll appear first later on when you need to schedule these items. So you can use that. Don't worry about the triggers or the add ons yet. Um, on the um, display details below apply online. Make sure you set number eight right here to the category name. OK, so in this case, this was um, hair services. OK, so just set that up like that. Trust me, that'll make it easier on you later on. If you have an online description that you want for your customers, put it there. Don't worry about the hold amount right now. We can discuss that later. If you're paying your employees commission, make sure you set that right here. Like 50% commission would be 50.0 right here. And this is just a default commission. Later on, you're going to be able to change your commissions for each employee for each service. Okay. The cost would be if, if for example, if it's a nail kit and you need to be reimbursed for the cost of the materials before the commission kicks in, normally the cost would be zero. Okay, and then you're going to tap done. And see, when you save changes, see now that an item appears under service items. And so you can tap each of your items one by one and turn them into services. You can also just tap on a group name. I'll go ahead and show you this. For example, like if you, if you tapped on, um, let's just say right here, if I tapped on this black area right here, then it would let you recognize everything in that category all at the same time and set up some of the parameters all at the same time. Sometimes you need a shortcut and that's how you do it really short. Okay. So what I want you to do now is set up all of your services. That's in other words, go to the, um, go to the service settings and tap on each of your categories one at a time and find each of your services, tap on them and turn them into a service. Set up your duration, break duration, finish duration. Um, make sure you set number eight to the category name. Give it a commission if you're paying your employees commission. And tap done for each of your items, OK? And so when you've done that, you're going to see that all of your services are going to appear under a banner called service items. Again, you can group change them. You can search items if you need to also. And you can group change just the service, just the searched items if you tap on the on the banner also. But so when you're done with this, what I want you to do is text 469 269 
2053 with I've done step two. We're going to call you right back and we're going to give you another video, take you through step three. But again, just text us 469-269-2053 when you've finished step two. We'll take you to the next step.